nobody will ever come between us, okay? I won't allow that. And what happened with Batcat and that whole situation, I want to apologize for that. And I want to make it up to you. Oh, I appreciate that. I really needed to hear that from you. I really did. And I'm glad that we're taking this time to talk about things because the best thing we can do is make sure that our communication is clear. The communication between us is so important. Like, we need to know what the boundaries are. And I feel like I somehow crossed a boundary that even though we're in an open relationship and that we allow other people into our relationship, like, we have clear rules about what's allowed and what isn't. And I'm not sure if our rules are clear right now. And I just want to make sure I don't overstep any boundaries. I need to know your boundaries so that I can love you properly. So if you could just, like, let me know how you were feeling in that situation and why you got upset, because I need to understand that. And sometimes you come up with basic boundaries, but then as things happen, you kind of have to adjust those boundaries. And I felt like I was starting to feel anxious and a little like it's, it was time to adjust those boundaries because it just felt like it went a little too far for my comfort. Saying something, sometimes you feel like you're going to react to it a certain way, but when that thing actually happens and you don't feel like the way you thought you were going to feel like, that's when that anxiety happens, you know? I feel like when our friend Nadine was here a month and a half ago, we had a great time together. We were like, we were like a thruple. We were, I had two girlfriends for the four days she was here and everything was great. And so then when we went into this situation with Batcat, I was really confused because I felt like I thought you were okay with all of this. But then I realized, wait a minute, she's not okay with this. What changed? What's different? And I need to understand that better. Like, how what were you feeling when I was with that cat that you didn't feel when I was with Nadine? Well, we approached the Nadine differently. Like, I had talked to her prior, and I had we were all talking together. And I felt like we had, like, kind of established a healthy, safe boundaries of what we were okay with, because we did talk about things prior to doing anything. Now with Batcat, we talked to her a little bit, but I felt like we didn't take the time to really get to know her the same way, and I felt like there was a whole different vibe. You know, I felt like it was approached a little bit differently, and sometimes people come to us with certain vibe, and then when we actually are in certain situations, the vibe starts to change. And I felt really uncomfortable because I didn't feel like I was included the same way I was with Nadine. Now, see, I'm glad you said that because that was something that never even crossed my mind. You know, when Nadine was here and we were hanging out and everything was great, you were always with us. We were the three of us. In this situation, I felt like you were kind of not included in this situation because it wasn't going to be a three-person thing, but that you were okay with me having that free pass to her to kind of help along our investment, to help along our business. And I feel like maybe that's where the anxiousness came from because you weren't necessarily in the room with us. Is that it? I, yeah, and the thing is, I said it was okay. I said that was okay for that to be like that. Right. But once it actually happened and, you know, it's just kind of changed and it just felt uncomfortable and, you know, it just, I just felt like I was left out, even though I gave, said it was okay. Now, I didn't know I was going to feel like that. I had no idea prior. I never did anything like this before. It was new. And then I felt upset about that afterwards, and then I was able to open up to you and talk to you about it. But I needed to process it first. I had to deal with the feelings first. I wasn't able to verbalize how I felt yet. Uh, I'm glad that you were able to take the time to process your feelings. I feel like that's super important when we're feeling some type of way. Too many times people just act out. They get mad. They scream. They yell. They say things they don't mean out of they didn't process it. I'm, I appreciate that you took the time to process how you felt and then relate it to me, you know, and 
that I feel is a very healthy thing. And we have a very healthy relationship. And that's why we work through things like this. And it's important that we sit here, we work through things because I need to know how that affected you, which you've told me. And now I need to know how I can make sure it doesn't happen again because I don't ever want to upset you in any way. I don't ever want anyone to come between us. Like you are so important to me and I love you. And the extra people that we invite into our relationship are just that, they're just friends that we have extra fun with, just like we would wrestle or go to the boardwalk. It's just we happen to bring them into a bedroom. But I feel like because we involved so many more things into it and you weren't involved, it caused this rift between us. And I don't ever want that to happen again. So what steps can I take next time to make sure that nothing like this happens again? Or are you just completely done altogether with being open relationship. Like, I need to know where we stand, what page we're on. I don't feel like we need to stop it. I enjoy it myself too. I'm just saying, um, when I when we processed that, you know, I needed time because it was it's different every time you do something like that. You know, when you're with somebody different, like you wrote, we've always established things prior to going into something, and we're always very clear with the communication. I feel like because it was tied up in the business that it was a whole different level and it sounded good but then when it was actually happening it just the vibe wasn't working it just wasn't now we did everything we could prior I don't feel like we're like you're at guilt or anything like we're, there's no reason to be guilty there's no there's no nothing that really could have been redone honestly but I feel like maybe just leaving the business out and just having organic fun is going to be better in the long term because I feel like tangling it up with money and work and stuff is just not going to work out in the future. To do prior to this, it sounded okay, but doing it, yeah, definitely not anymore. I'm glad that we had like this communication because it's opened my eyes to new things now. And this never would have been resolved if we just had this toxic screaming match with each other. Like, I don't feel like any of this would have ever came out. It would have just been screaming, yelling, hurt feelings, not speaking to each other for days. And that's just detrimental to a relationship. And I don't ever want to do that with you, ever. Like, I move in ways to not upset you. I move in ways to respect this relationship because this relationship means everything to me. And I'm glad that I know now where we stand and what you were feeling. So now I won't make those mistakes again. And I'm glad that you weren't like just mad at me. It was more upset with the situation. I know all of our fans that watch, they were upset thinking we're going to break up or we can't make it work. But when you have good communication and you just want to sit down and talk and have, even if it's an awkward conversation, I feel like you can always make it work. No, I feel the same way too. I'm not an angry type person. I don't like to feel angry. I don't like the emotion. It happens. But when you sit and process and figure out what's causing the anger, then you find a better way to deal with it. I don't want to get angry at you. I don't want to be angry in general uh, to anybody really. So I just try to avoid that emotion as much as possible. And the only way to do that is to diffuse it as much as possible. And I'm not going to say, like, sometimes we get upset, we get grumpy, you know, but because we took the time to talk, I, just, I don't say, I'm angry with you. I say, I feel like this because this is happening. Like, I process it and say it a different way. People, don't, people are very triggered by words, triggered by feelings, and I don't want to trigger anything or hurt anything or anybody. I don't want to take things. I don't want to destroy them. I don't want to withhold anything. I don't want to withhold talking to you. I love talking to you. We have like a best friend relationship. That would hurt me if I did that. Like, I don't want to hurt myself. I want to grow and be in a healthy space in myself as well as with you. I don't want to go to bed angry or be upset or anything. Being angry is a painful process that I just don't want to feel. I know some people are like, oh, I want to, I'm going to be angry. I'm going to be like, da, 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 because I feel like I'm entitled to feel like that. I'm like, ah. I just want to get through the problem and be happy. 
My goal is to be happy. So when, I, when you do that, sometimes it's a little bit of a slippery slope, but you know, because we talk about how we feel, and that's the thing. Sometimes people don't understand why they feel like something. You have to sit with that feeling and process it. I take my time to meditate on what I'm feeling and then I'm able to verbalize and that takes some time. It might take an hour, it might take a day, it might take a little bit longer, who knows? But I always try to make sure I tell you that. Like you said, when you're in a situation, take that time, process it. I'm glad that you do that. And I've been learning to do that as well because you're taking time to say, well, how do I feel? Why do I feel this way? And what can I do to change it, you know? And that's the thing. I don't want to be upset with you. I don't want to be in an argument with you. I love you and you are my best friend too. We have such a wonderful relationship that I value and respect in so many ways that I really, I'm serious when I say that, you know, I, I move in ways that I don't ever want to upset you. And I, like, it crushes me that we were even in this situation. And I'm just glad that it wasn't you thinking anything that this wasn't going to work or that our, our relationship wasn't going to work or whatever because I just value this so much. And I feel like I found the person for me after all this time, the person that gets me and understands me and wants to sit and have a healthy conversation and talk out our problems. And I just appreciate that so much. So thank you. I'm trying not to tear up. <laughs> it was really deep. It's okay, because I'm going to tear up. It's okay to tear up. I just love you so much. So sorry, I hurt you. I love you too. Mm. It's okay. We got through it. We got through it. Mm. We're going to be okay. It's all right. We're going to be okay, right? Yeah. I feel better that we talked it out and I'm over it, you know? Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much for hearing me and how I feel. Always. I We are in a space where we're not afraid to talk. Right. We're not afraid. I'm not walking around and actually like, oh, I don't know if I can tell them about this. I can't tell them. No, I'd no, rather. I, know I don't want to sit here and see. I don't want to hide anything. I just want to tell. If you hide or if you lie in a relationship, what I've learned is if you just tell the truth now, it becomes the past. But if you continue to lie it's going to become your future mm -hmm. because that lie is going to come out. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, mm -hmm. but it's going to. And that lie is going to come out and then you broke the trust. It's very hard Lies break trust, ruin relationships. That's why I don't lie to you. I've, I've told you everything from day one. I've told her everything from day one. She's told me everything from day one because, you know, we've been around. We're not teenagers. Mm -hmm. You know, we've been around. We've been through some shit. Talking about each other's past and the truth, mm -hmm. even when it's ugly, even when it's awkward, is important because it helps us understand each other. Mm -hmm. mm, I love you so much. Mm -hmm. I'm glad we talked this out. And you guys, thanks for watching. I wanted to record us talking. Like, this was real. Like, And I wanted to record us talking this out. And I wanted to show you guys how we talk things out because I think it's really healthy for everyone's mental health mm -hmm. and it's important. I've learned a lot uh, in the past four years. I've been through therapy. Uh, I've gotten my mental health better. Tina's worked on her mental health and we wanted to share some of what we learned with you so that, you know, you guys can see a healthy relationship, a functioning relationship too much, too often YouTube, and, and your interests are toxic. They're, we wanna see people scream and yell at each other. We wanna see people be mean to each other, hurt each other's feelings, roast each other, whatever. But like, you know, <laughs> that's not our relationship. And, and we love it. This is the way it's gonna be. And if for whatever reason we grow apart, which is possible, because people grow apart, mm. but I will wish you well in your future and then I would do the same. Right. And then I will, you were my gold standard. I would never accept anything less than how wonderful this is. Thank you. I love you so much. I love you so much too. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed us talking this out and things are going to be okay. And, and 
it's very important for us and for you guys that we all connect and we all talk. So let me know in the comments below if you guys have like a problem or a situation and then, you know, maybe we can talk about it in a video. Mm -hmm. We want to hear from you guys. We want to know what you guys are struggling with and maybe, you know, we can help you guys with the way that we help each other. I don't know. I think that'd be cool. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And um, I wanted to appreciate all the love that I got on the last video. I talked instead of being grim, crazy, yelling, screaming, fighting all the time. I just talked to everybody. And I think you guys really appreciated that. And I thank you for watching it. And I appreciate all the love. And I loved reading all the comments. And don't think that I didn't read them because I read every one, even if they were mean. And <laughs> <laughs> And I love you guys, even if you're mean to me. I appreciate you being here. So thank you for watching. Please like the video, leave a comment, subscribe for more, share with your friends who might think, who might be having relationship problems. Hey, look how they talked it out. Try that. Try that with your significant other. I promise you it's so much healthier than being angry, grumpy, and yelling. And if you're not down with that, we got three words for you. Eat, Eat it. it. Yeah. <laughs>